My Lords, I thank the noble lady, Baroness Sheehan, for securing this debate, and particularly the way that she framed it as ensuring that legislation aligns, um, which seems to obviously point us towards the Queen's speech and the need to mainstream climate and uh, environmental issues in everything. So I want to pick out three uh, bills from the speech, two obvious ones, one less obvious. Now, the noble Lord, Lord Nenny, referred to the lack of an energy bill in the speech. But there is, of course, uh, a bill addressing energy, that being the draft downstream oil resilience bill. So the only energy bill we have is one about oil. And this talks about uh, working with the sector and particularly talks about transferring to abatement technologies. Um, would the noble Lord, the minister, acknowledge that what that's talking about is the hard, inefficient way to store carbon? What we have with carbon capture and storage is we have oil, gas and coal in the ground and leaving it in the ground is by far the cheapest and most efficient way to store carbon. Secondly, moving on to the planning bill, um, this seems to basically divide the country into two areas, open slathered development in some parts, a few other parts protected. It's a sparing and sharing approach. Yet we've seen the government recently adopt, a, after a great deal of campaigning, a new nature target, which would seem to be utterly incompatible with allowing any more trashing of our desperately nature-depleted country. And finally, like the noble lady Baroness Heyman, I'm going to come to the Skills and Post-16 Education Bill. Now, I spent this morning talking first with the Westminster Forum about food security, then with Building Magazine about national retrofit strategy. Both of them were stressing the need for skills and assessing the need for people, the terrible shortage of labour supply. Now, this bill will contain plans for a flexible lifelong loan scheme. Uh, we need these workers, we need these skills. Surely, with education being a public good, we shouldn't be asking people to take on the weight of loans, debt hanging around their neck as a burden. Surely, we should be to deliver our climate targets, our nature targets, be actually looking to fund this education from uh, public spending.